Yeah, my name is Jane E.K. A.K.A. Woman of Substance. I'm a Nollywood actress. I'm into entertainment. Are you flexible enough to work on short posts as a stand -in? How? Of course, I'm very flexible. Anytime, any day. This is my passion. So anytime, I'm ready. What type of? I don't have I, I act any movie, but um, contemporary, glamour, epic, any one I'm in. How would you describe yourself in five words? I'm classy, honest, truthful, um, God-fearing. Is that the five? <laughs> I'm a woman of substance. Quite acting. Yeah, I have passion for acting. Right from why I was growing up, so acting is my passion. Yeah. When did you start acting? What was you started? Yeah, I started acting in the year 2016. Uh, what got me was my passion for acting. I have always dreamed to be an actor, so I had to start in the year 2016. Every industry, including the industry, is full of competition. What do you stand out most? Yeah, I try to be unique. I try to create my own brand, not mimicking anyone, not trying to be like anyone, just I'm outstanding, like trying to be myself, my original. What do you feel like to I would like to be remembered for my good works. I would like to be remembered for my, my good works, yeah. My most challenging role. Most challenging role. Um, I don't have any, but I don't. I don't. I don't like bedroom scenes where you be asked to or kissing. I don't like kissing, kissing, <laughs> kissing scenes. So I find it a little difficult why I'm asked to kiss. And most times I refuse to accept it. How do you rehearse a scene with the other actors you need to interact with the scene and I had to go through the story, understand the story, understand my character in a particular story, then get my own lines and wait for them. Seriously, I don't have a role model. I am my own role model. I don't have a role model. <laughs> Why? Um, nothing. I appreciate other actors and actresses, but I don't have, like, I'm working towards building my own brand. Like I said earlier, I want to be my own original. Like, I don't want to meet anyone. That's why. How difficult is it to establish yourself in the industry? Yeah, um, while I was starting up, it was a bit difficult. But by the grace of God, I was able to pull through through the help of my aunt, who is a producer, and people started referring me to other producers and that was how I kicked it off. What attracts you? What attracts you to a role now? What attracts me to a role is the story. If I'm given a script, I'll get you, I'll go through the story. 
after going through the story, oh, once the story is educating, interesting, and if it's something people will learn a lot from, I would, I would like to do it. But if the, if the role is nothing to write home about, I will, I will, I will not, I will not play the role. How do your friends after you? <laughs> Sorry, how do your friends? Wait, let me arrange my hair. Pick up. How? How do your friends after you? Oh, yeah, my friends. <laughs> Some of them will be like, Jane, you're not a celebrity. I don't know if you still want to talk to us. So I'll be like, why not? You are my friend. I'm a friend. You shall remain forever. Nothing changed. I'm still Jane, Ike. Nothing changed. But um, right now, the people with respect and they, they want to come closer to me than before, you know. <laughs> The person's acting skills, the way he or she interprets his or her role, you know, nothing else. When you decided to be an advocate, your family supported Yeah, my mother did, but my dad <laughs> did not support me. But along the line, he was like, fine, you can, you can go on. Yeah, of course. I remember. I can't remember. What do you consider as your selling point? My unique selling point. Mm. I think it's my back. <laughs> Oh, 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 my, my flat tummy, right? Don't mind me though. My unique selling point is my courage, you know, the way I carry myself, my uniqueness. That is what my friends and fans call me, woman of substance. I am made of good substance. That's my selling point. Like having something upstairs, a good cook. I'm always full of good ideas. I'm a good writer too, in case you don't know. <laughs> I love light skin guys. I love dark skin guys. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love both. Like, I love both. I love both dark or light. <laughs> oh, I like them sexy. I like them cute. Pot belly with a whole lot of money. <laughs> Fine, I'll go for pot belly with a whole lot of money. <laughs> yeah. I want to tell them that I love them so much. I want to appreciate what they've been doing in my life, the support in one way or the other. I want to say thank you. Thank you so much to you guys. You rock. I love you so much. Keep watching Big Sun TV. Just go to YouTube and subscribe to Big Sun TV, okay? And do not forget to press the notification button. I love you all. Remain blessed. Amen. My name is Ibezov Tochuku, Jonathan, aka White Lion, and um, I heard from Enugu State, Oji River to be precise, in Omuago Enyi. And um, I'm an Hollywood actor. What attracted attracted you to begin a career as an actor? That's a good one. You know, I've always um, I've always had this dream about acting when I was 
no little when I, from my high school days we always have these drama classes whereby we act on stage doing our cultural day and stuff like that so i've always had this passion from my young age to you know do movies what according to you is the best part of your work um the best part of my work is um, <laughs> I would say I love everything about my job. You know, everything. The intensity, the, the way, the flow, the the nature of everything. I just love everything about it. If anything you would be asked to change about your work, what would be that one thing? <laughs> I would say everything about my work is great, but sometimes I would say the weather. You know, the weather in our country is sometimes not comfortable for our world because sometimes if we are doing an outdoor shoot you know the sun can really be really bad that it do affect our skin sometimes we have sunburn and stuff like that so if i'm asked to change something about my work i would just be like the 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 sunlight you know what is your best role so far um i've really played so many roles but the part I would say is my best is, um, you know, playing the role of a prince. Tell us something about one of the best experiences of your life. Hmm. <laughs> that is a good one. You know, um, I'll take you guys back to when I was in in, um, in the university. Um, I'm like this kind of you know stubborn boy or guy we always get ourselves involved in so many acts so i always you know i almost lost my life during the process when i was in school because of one or two mistakes you know so i would say surviving in school has been my greatest thing you know describe your last experience on stage hmm my last experience on stage it was it was nice i mean i met a lot of beautiful people my you know my colleagues my producers I, it, it was all good you know, very unique and um, special because of the the role that i played in that in that film it's a wonderful film what is the first thing you do to research and approach a role Hmm. Okay. If when I, whenever I get a job, the first thing I do is to read my script. You know, I know what my character is and understand my character. <coughs> so I would, you know, go back and make some research on the previous work that is relating to that um, job that I'm about to do. I'm actually watch some clip from my senior colleagues that are better than me and see how I'm like I'm how I'm supposed to put life into any character I'm being given. You know? Are there things you want to do other than acting? Yeah. To be honest with you, acting was not my you know first thing that I wanted to do as as a boy. You know, I've always had this dream of being a footballer and I was good. But due to some injuries and um, doctor telling me not to play anymore, so I decided to quit. But I've always had this dream about, you know, this thing about acting. So if it wasn't like the movie, I would have been a footballer. What's challenging about bringing the script to life? <laughs> you know, this our job is really not that easy. The thing that I would say is like challenging about my job is maybe some, for example, that you might be given a, a role, you know, like trying to bring a character to life about maybe, for example, playing a role of um, um, an orphan or a, a sugar boy like 
some like personally i am not into all of those like you know doing you know all those things but whenever i'm, I'm giving whenever i'm being given that kind of a role i i like i fight it so hard to you know to get it right to interpret everything that i'm, I'm being given list some of your accomplishments in the field of acting hmm. i would say that um the place i am now i would say that i'm happy um that i've like i came this far because four years ago um five years ago it wasn't like this i started with like four scenes five scenes palace guard you know a friend to somebody but now i would say that i've, I've really like come far because I can confidently say I can take on a lead role, sub lead, and do it so well. But back in the days, like five years ago, it's, it's kind of very difficult for me because of some of my colleagues. You know, whenever I'm on set with them, they, they have this presence that they will make you, you know, scared or afraid. But now I, I think like I'm, I'm, I've been like I've grounded myself so well that I can take up or you know, face anybody that I come across um, in this my um, movie career. Describe your most challenging role to date. The most challenging role. My most challenging role will be um, there's this movie that we did for Destiny Production. So in the movie, like it's an epic movie though. So we actually went into the to, to, into the um, fer forest to you know do some research and get some things back. So in that process, we almost got uh, uh, like we almost got bitten by a snake. So whenever I have this epic um, job, is is um, is challenging because of the texture of you know the work. It's always challenging you know bringing an, um, a character back, like bringing a character, um, a character to life. It's really when it has to be, like, epic. Where do you see your career in five years as an actor? Well, I see myself as being one of the best, if not the best, actor. Um, one of the best actors that anybody like can think of. Like whenever they call the name of the best actors, I think um, I'm working so hard to at least come out as the as the one of the best, if not the best actors in, in five years time. How do you prepare in advance for a role? Okay, first of all, if I get a job, I will go through my script, I will read it and understand my role. Then I will read it again. I will read my script like three times. Then I might do some rehearsals. I might act in my house, you know, facing the mirror, act with myself, and trying to and try to get the thing right before coming on stage or, you know, coming um, into the production to actually bring the character to life. Range or bends? <laughs> I think I love bends. What's your vacation destination? I would say United States. What's that one thing you can't live without? Hmm. Food. <laughs> I love food so much. If you are to choose between a fair complexion lady and a dark complexion lady, which would you choose? I think I, I will... Um, like, it doesn't really matter. It depends on where I, like the person I feel so comfortable with. You understand? So, fair or black, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't discriminate color. So, anyone is good, as far as I love the person. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes. I wish to find a woman that will love me. That's the first one. That we can start our life, and I, you know, together, build something together. Second, I would wish to have a beautiful female daughter. Yeah. Then the third one is I wish to have a hundred million dollars in my account. <laughs>
what's your all best nickname? My name, my nickname is White Lion. Finally, if you weren't famous, what would you be up to right now? <laughs> well, if I am not into entertainment, I would say um, I'll probably be. Uh, uh, my name doing business. is Osita Dema Oluchuku Jr., popularly known as Osita Oluchuku. I'm the first of four children. I'm from Imo State, Ingo Bala local government. Ume Kune, precisely, that's my village. Um, I'm a graduate graduate of the University of Port Harcourt. I studied theatre and films. Um, I'm a big fan of wrestling. I love to watch wrestling and I am also a very strong, I'm politically inclined. I could, I, I say I'm a political analyst. I, I love entertainment. I love swimming. I, and I am more of an introverted person. I stay, I, I feel, I feel safer inside alone all by myself or with some few trusted friends. Yes. How do you realize this? Okay, um, this question takes me back to the time I was in school. Um, like I said, I, I studied theater art. So, um, once scripts are given to actors involved, you have to go home, you have to read, you have to internalize your lines. And that's where a lot of actors make mistakes. They only learn, they only stop learning at their own lines. You have to learn the lines of the other actor. You have to learn the lines. The you have to help help fill in the void for the other actor that is not present. So when you come on set, whether or not the actor is ready or available, you know your lines. You know the actor's lines. So maybe the actor comes and isn't really ready. Maybe the actor is as prepared as you are. You don't have to take the time of rehearsing more you just have to go and shoot because you have your lines and when you have your lines it makes it easier for you because you know the actor's lines and you react to the actor's lines as well so it just makes it just makes it just makes it better and easier for the production for both of you too yes um it's it's something that i'm still getting used to because um when i started out i had this i had this burning passion inside of me i didn't know the other perks that were going to come along the line i didn't know that um being an actor i would get um, i'll get to be celebrated the way i am now i don't i didn't know i'll get to be appreciated as much as i am now then I just had this burning passion, a young boy who wanted to act, whose, whose joy comes from acting without actually knowing that acting could bring these and that. So looking back at how I started and where I am now, it is, it is a dream come through. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. This is not the best. This is not the final point. I know a time will come where this will be like a playground. Where I am now will be like a playground. So, yes, there's so much difference. There is a big gap between where I started and where I am now. It is amazing. Well, um... I hardly get satisfied at whatever I do. That's one thing. Um, one of the reasons I, 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 I'm one of those actors that watch my movies to criticize myself because I never get satisfied. I see something and I wish I could have done it better. So where I am now, I, in as much as I am grateful to God, I am not so, re I'm not so relaxed like this this is where i should be and i'm where i need to be no i know that there is there is a bigger and a better platform there's a bigger stage where i need to get to where i need to be so there's no time sitting down and you know sitting down and be be so comfortable with where i am i need to get there and so yes i am not so comfortable but i thank god
success is the of time. So, uh, for me, it is, I haven't been, I haven't been started. Then you get so reluctant to progress. I am still growing, so uh, but there is such a big difference between an everyday kid and I because um, I started out doing something that I loved early enough. While I was young, I started off pursuing a career. While a lot of my young, a lot of my mates at that time were just busy you know waiting for i don't know but i started out early enough so the the, the whatever, wherever i am now was as a result of the hard work and me being able to decide where i want to be and what i want to be early enough so but the whole success part i think we all are successful and being successful like you said at a young age is surreal it's it's a it's a good thing, but I don't think I am there yet. I'm still growing, I'm still learning. Yeah. No, there's a difference. There's a difference because there are some things I wish I could do now that I don't do because of people. What people could say, how people could would react. And there's some things I... There's, now I tend to be a more preserved person. I didn't grow up like this. I, I I was growing up. I was that rough kid who would just be everywhere, everywhere. That loud child. But because of where I am now, because of my career path, I have. I am now a more reserved person. I I now think before I speak. I now try to know who i am i'm trying to i'm i'm still trying to know what it means how to carry this this newfound fame this newfound um, popularity to be able to carry it with grace so there's a big difference between where i used to be and where i am now i can't just go out and i can't just i can't walk on the street and be eating anything or putting things in my mouth so yes there's a difference now i'm more reserved and things are taking a better shape right now than it used to be in that um first it's i think it started with my thought pattern you know when i started acting before i started acting i there are a lot of people that i looked up to as role models as mentors as godfathers so when i got to meet them in person when i got the chance of meeting them in person i discovered that um, it was a different ball game altogether and i had to learn the way they they move around with their lives because I can't act the way I was acting when I was in school. I can't behave the way I was behaving when I was a young boy. There's a difference, a lot. There, there's a lot going on right now in my life that I have adapted to as a result of being in this craft. So acting has really, really transformed my life. Yes, like I said before, I'm uh, I'm a political and I, like I love politics so much. So I stay and I, 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 I stay I, I analyze politicians, government things, parastatals, organizations, and I'm looking forward to you know if I'm not acting, I'm looking forward to maybe running a government office sooner or later, you know, in, in time to come, a governor or anything, yeah. Okay, I think it's people people out there, the perception of people outside, how they look at actors. They look, they tend to see us as, um, they tend to see the females as um, 
prostitutes, they tend to see the men as um, never do well, we just, we just leave rage on acting. But that's where they get it wrong. You know, they, 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 there, are lot of young, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of people that acting that Nollywood has changed their life drastically and it's and they've really worked hard for it you know being an actor you've brought joy to many homes you never can tell who you've brought joy to and god so kind god so kind maybe somebody or somebody that you have maybe brought so much joy into their home sees you outside they would want to you know be a part of your life be a blessing to your life whichever way they can so they tend to gift, they tend to show love, they tend to be a part of your life positively. So when people outside tend to see actors as never do well, we tend to, they tend to look at us as drop out. And there are actors, there are people in this industry that, that are PhD holders, they are master degree holders, they are, they are, they are educators. I know, so I know some actors, I know few actors who are very big names who are undergoing their master's degree, undergoing their PhD degrees, because truly they are not just actors. They are they understand they, they, they understand their assignment. They know that as actors they are mirror to the society, and they have to represent at every opportunity. So you see actors in government house. You see actors. I was, I was saying, if they were just ordinary people, they would have been there. They are not here just there because. They are there because they have what it takes. They have the wisdom, they have the, 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 the knowledge to be there and to speak in such a dream. So yes, I want the perception of people outside seeing actors as never do well to change. That's one thing I don't like about how people see actors. Well, there, there are times I get a script and when I see a script, I see how I see how powerful the story is and how powerful my character is. I just try to think of scenarios. I think of um, scenarios how the only thing in my mind is how can I bring this character to life? How can I? I've been trusted with this character. How can I bring it to life? So yes, there are times where I get so nervous, not because of who I'm working with, but because of how weighty the story is and I wouldn't want to be the flop. So I try to think of, I try to come to set, being so concentrated on that character and making sure that it comes to life just as the, the, the writer has well written out. When I started out, I started out very young. I started out, I was 15 there about. I remember one time where I, I, I went I was, I went, I, growing up, I, I went to several auditions in Port Harcourt. I started out in Port Harcourt. I went to several auditions as a young boy. And a lot of people would tell me that I need to go back to school, that as a young person, I have, I, I would, I really did not command that much attention because there were little or no roles for me as a young boy. But um, we thank God today, thank God for perseverance. I stayed through, I believed in what I was doing and it became a reality i remember one time in portaco where we had to take a boat a speed boat to look to the location we did that for seven days i remember john dumelo was on that set we did that for seven days 2011 2012 thereabout i was on that that was a 20 minutes journey on a sea an ocean you see only big you see only big ships on that and one night, I remember one night, we were coming from set, so uh, we were shooting on an island. There were no houses around us, it was just an island, we had to build sets on that island. And one night, we were coming from set around 1 a.m. We had one big speedboat, we didn't, we, didn't, we, uh, we didn't want to come back to pick some person, and we had over 50 persons on set. So we all came on that speedboat, this is the speedboat and this is the water. It was so close that we were sitting on the edge of the boat. We got to the center of the ocean and the engine stopped. At 1 a.m., the engine stopped working. The guy that was piloting the, the speedboat did not know how to do it. We were, we, I thought I was going to die. I thought that was my last day on earth. 
remember, I remember a lot of our actors that were not my mom is with us i don't know how to swim in that kind of ocean but i think i know one or two ways of surviving in that kind of situation so i i just stay still then you need to see a lot of our actors a lot of the Igbo people on up there hey god this is how i'm going to die hey because of him hey if i do this film finish i will not come to potato again i will not use both again so it was an amazing experience and god took care of me got off that um that very troubling um and we got to the shore safe and we got to the hotel we, I remember we talked about it for the next 30 days on set it was an amazing um, an amazing experience yes you are your best bet I am my best bet I do not rely on anyone I just feel like whatever I cannot give to myself nobody can I try to work really hard. I don't depend on anyone. I depend on only God. So I just see myself as my best bet. If I need something, I try to think on ways to get it. I try to, no matter how long it's going to take me, unless grace brings it earlier. But I always try to think on something that would make everything that I want, that would make me achieve everything that I want without depending on anyone, without thinking on, because growing up, I was I, I I became self-reliant. I I lost my father when I was 13, and I I had I had to learn. I'm the first son and the first child. I had to learn to be dependent. I had to learn to be my mother's husband. I had to learn to be my brother's and my sister's provider from a young age. So looking back at where it all started from losing my dad to where I am now. It has only been that mantra. That mantra has always worked for me. You are your best bet. I am my best bet. And that has been like my, my go-to. If if I get to a crossroad and I just get so worried, I just know, Oster, you are your you are your best bet. Just think on think of better ways to get this thing done. That's that's it for me. Well, the thing is, the status is not the problem. The main, the, my, my, my core, my interest is how well I, I, I make a scene look. You know, it's not, about, um, it's not about the status for me. I try to be, I try to be, when I'm trying to take a role, I don't, I don't, I take off Osta. I wear someone else. So my idea, my the, what I want out of that character is that it comes out amazingly well. I, I, I want to be one of those actors that I remembered for the level of um, for the level of art that I was able to bring to them, the level of joy, not Osta the actor, but someone who was able to connect with me. Because one thing, being an actor, it, it's funny how you tend to be different people without knowing. I have, uh, there's something one time, I, I played a character one time. I was in a movie one time and I, I was opportune to be the lead character in that film. And I, I don't know if it's safe to call the name of the film because yeah, I, that's the conductor. I was shot in Lagos 2017. I played the lead character. Now, that movie was out, the movie did well. When, then, one time I was, um... I think sometime I was in Delta State, I shot in Vegas, I was in Delta State, filming. Then I went to the restaurant to eat. Then, the lady saw me and she was like, that movie was her life story. It was just, she saw, she, she saw herself being me. Because everything she went through, growing up, was what I went through, growing up. That and I was able to speak to her directly. She was able to, she was able to understand every emotion, everything that I did as the character in that film. Now, what I'm trying to say is, as an actor, you speak to a lot of people without knowing. We are the mirror of the society. So, when people tend to, when people tend to um, acknowledge your acts, that is when you're doing a good job. Not 
because you're an actor. They tend to acknowledge what you do in the film. So that is what I live on. That is what I want people to remember me for, for the enchanting character delivery while I was alive. I don't know how to cook. <laughs> I'm a terrible cook. I don't know how to cook that. I know a, a lot of people, I, I came from a home where my grandma used to be a chief cook in House of Assembly and my mom runs um, runs a restaurant, a very big restaurant. But me, from that kind of serious bang, 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 cooking family, where my uncles are good cooks, my aunties are fantastic cooks. Now me, <laughs> the best I can do is make delicious Indomie. Anything way past Indomie, count me out. Because the last time I wanted to make obono soup, I made a mess in the kitchen. I was, the, the, I thought, people started coming like, oh, Star, what's happening? You know, something is burning in your kitchen. I was like, I, I, I can handle it. I could not handle Jack. The thing was out of my, my strength. I had, I had a neighbor running to help me. So yes, that's one thing I do not do. I do not have to cook. I'm terrible at it. But I'm learning, Sha. Um, as an actor, I don't think I have anything particular. I just want to be... I just want to pick up roles that... When, when, when a writer... My joy is... When a writer finishes writing and the only person that can come through his or her mind is Ostalich, because that's what I want. Those are the kind of roles I want to take up. When they know, if I call A, if I call B, if I call C, I don't think I can get that kind of delivery that Osita can bring to it. That's the kind of roles I want to do. I want to take up serious, emotional, serious, mind-blowing characters that you cannot think of any other person but me to take it up. In the next five years, I think I want to, my name will be on the lips of everyone. Uh, in the next five years, I want to be looked at as someone who, who did, who knows his onions, who, who, I want to be one of those people, if you have to say the first three in Nigeria as a whole, in Africa, I look beyond Nigeria, I look beyond Africa in the world. How did you start and how was your first experience in the industry? Uh, my first experience was just like it was it was disturbing because I I didn't know how to say I did I got the lines but I just I just didn't know the best way to say it. I did it well though, but as a young as a newbie, I think I got a lot I was so nervous to the point that the director had to call me out and be like, you got this. Osita, trust me, you have this. You just have to let it go. Let go of the fear. Nobody's here. Just see yourself alone in this whole place. I know you can do it. And that was when I picked it up and it was fire. Yes, yes. Um, if the other day I was one of my best performances in 2016 then when I when I did that film I was super excited I knew that that was my best performance but a few days ago I had to go back to that film and I was ashamed of <laughs> I was ashamed of what I did because there is a big the, my approach to film to acting now is different from what it used to be three years ago, two years ago. It is evolving. I have changed as an actor. I've progressed as an actor. So yes, there's a big difference. If I get the opportunity of playing that same character again, oh my goodness, or play any character I've played in the past, it will be amazing. It will be, it will, it will, it will be mind-blowing. Trust me. Uh, 
um, I have I've, 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 over my over um, over the course of my career, I've been privileged to play different characters, different amazing characters. But I can mention a few. I remember playing um, Haji in a film called Haji in a film called Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. In between, yes, in between myself, Inse Ikbe, Pascal Mafo directed Inse Ikbe, uh, Eddie Watson, Ken Eric, Esther Odu. That was in 2013 or 14. I played a kid soldier, a, a, a brutal kid soldier who was so brutal. But at the point of, you know, all through the movie, I was seen as a very brutal kid but they didn't know that i was hiding an emotional part of me somewhere that i didn't want people or my superiors to know then i got to a point where i broke down and that was an amazing it was when i was seeing the movie even now i had to shed a tear then i was privileged to play uh in the movie not my king where i played uh, a prince uh, a, a prince who a prince who just became a king and with so much pride so much anger disrespectful throughout the whole kingdom it took a lot because i'm not that kind of person i'm not disrespectful uh, you know it's one of my very bold wonderful characters i've played now, i've done a couple and i'm really privileged to be trusted with such wonderful characters over the years Well, there's more to life than movies, you know. Uh, I think in movies we get to exaggerate things. So in real life, we don't get to exaggerate things, we don't get to exaggerate things. I, I, I feel life, life is so impressive that personally, I could be wrong. But yes, there's much to life than this. Okay, um, I I have some people that I look up to in Hollywood and also in Hollywood. I'll start with Hollywood. I love I love John Boyega. He's a young actor. I relate with him more as a young actor because um, I think I went I followed I followed him when he started out as an actor. Then the ones I didn't then i read more about him just like me he went to an acting school he graduated from an acting school then he proceeded and he became a force in in in, Hol in hollywood today from london and he's making wave globally he's a young person he's black i'm young and black so he graduated from an acting school i graduated from a film school so there is so much similarities and his approach to his delivery patterns his approach to delivery is so is so amazing it's so amazing then another young actor that i love so much jason idris and another african actor who is also a british uh jason is a phenomenon act he is so believable also came out from a film school so these are people that i look up to so much you know they are young and they are amazing then in hollywood um, I have a couple of people that I respect personally. I've I've been privileged to have personal interactions with them. Ken Eriks, um, he's one of the few that I respect so much. Who is an an, an embodiment of act, and good thing he also graduated from, graduated from the University of um, I think Unisic Theatre Art, Uniport Theatre Art. So we I tend to relate with him and a lot, and I've. With his career, I've seen progress, tremendous progress. I've seen transition. He transitioned from where he used to be to where he is now. So these, these, these features are things I, I, I want to grow into. I want to be able to transition from where I am now to where I want to be in the nearest future. And also Frederick Leonard is an amazing actor. I love him so much as an actor. I, I relate with him. I, 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 
I feel every whenever I have the opportunity of seeing any of them in movies, I tend to feel it. I tend to feel it, and that's what actors should be able to relate their feelings through through to the audience. And I feel it a whole lot. So yes, they are amazing art, and I I'm looking forward to working with all of them, Hollywood and Hollywood, all of them as many times as I can. Yes. And thank you very much for having me. It's my, it's a privilege and God bless you. Okay. Uh, you're watching Big Sun TV. Keep it locked here. Here at Big Sun TV, you're going to be seeing a lot of mind blowing films, intriguing, suspense filled films with so much educational value to it. Don't stay locked in. You're in a My name is Chineyen Nebe and I play the character Clara. Hi people, my name is Shirley Igwe and I'm on the set of Frame of Mind. I'm Victor Bigson, the CEO Bigson Movies International. Hey guys, how beautiful. My name is Adrienne Ike, aka Woman of Substance. On the set of A Frame of Mind. Um, it's a Big Sun Movies International production. It's directed by Mr. Man Elo. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, so the bigger, the bigger, the bigger, the bigger. Yeah, this yeah, one one. Top, uh, so, this, this, uh, let me say this character is actually different from every other thing I've played, honestly. When I read the script, I'm like, ah, it's, it's really creative. It's something I would really want to get involved with. Frame of mind. Frame of mind blockbuster coming soon so you guys should wait for this interesting movie it's gonna be the best trending movie trust me what you're gonna see in the movie will be so nice so interesting like you will learn a lot of stuff from me yeah the role tracy is an amazing role i enjoyed myself like the part I was asked to say, do the, and the doctor. <laughs> well, I enjoyed it. Because it does not seem like everybody thinks I'm weird. Yeah, it does seem like it's normal. Yes, but it's not like it's the only person that is me like that. So now you see goals. Okay, like people see yeah. in, in, in our own world, people see yeah. our different. Yeah. So this okay. is the only person yeah. that yeah. 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 that I'm trying to achieve that one. We completed on that. Where the hell is the game? No, love is. Yeah, okay. Ready? So uh, we're picking up from White Wood Tide. Yes. Action. You also have Chine and Sonia, daughters of Richard Nancy, in this film. So yeah, and then Colin Sejike, who played my husband. Directed by Man Alone. And watch out for this wonderful movie. You will love it. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Big Sun TV. I love you all. I love you all. I love you.